Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. Let's say in NLP, Natural Language Processing, you have got a bunch of keywords and you want to generate some generic text or sentence or something that is meaningful from these keywords. So this is like, you know, um, if you have ever developed uh, or written hints development in your high school or somewhere, where you'll be given a bunch of keywords and then you have to actually form sentences. And this could be really, really useful if you're actually working on something like uh, creating multiple choice questions where you have the answers and from that answer you have to create a meaningful question so maybe you have a template with which you can create the question but yeah let's say that you want to build a model or uh, you want to build an nlp service where it will take keywords and then it will generate text a meaningful sentence as an output and that is possible thanks to gagan uh, gagan has created a python package that's called the uh, key to text and this what this package is this package takes a bunch of keywords as a list uh, on python and then it's going to give you a meaningful uh, sentence as an output so basically key to text is built on um, transformers t5 model so you can look at the model uh, currently there are four models at this time of recording uh, currently there are four models that are available so the main k2t k2t tiny k2 uh, B base and um, the famous manual Romero's uh, model so these are the four models that you can currently use with this package but uh, I think the developer is really interested in uh, accepting more models so if you want to if you want to um, develop your own model and then you know like uh, where uh, uh, you can contribute to this open source package please do it so what we are going to do is we are going to actually see uh, this um, example that uh, the developer has put together. So I've got a, a Google Collab Notebook. It's running on CPU, no GPU, anything. So first step is uh, you install key to text. Um, in my case, uh, in this environment, it is already installed. That's done. After that, uh, we have to import pipeline from key to text. And then within that pipeline, you actually def define what model you want. So in our case, we are going to start with K2T. So import the pipeline. Um, if in case it's not big, I think this should be big. Import, or I should say like, yeah, the first step is importing the pipeline and the next step is, you know, de defining your NLP pipeline with K2T. And then once you do that, you would, you know, see these models getting downloaded. After that, all you have to do is you have to, uh, you know, create something like this or even, even easier is like, you can say something like this. Uh, in which you can say okay these are the keywords i want to give let's say i want to give um, um i want to give something like apple um iphone and um, let's say samsung and these are the keywords now what i'll do is i'll say nlp of um keywords and uh, once i run this it says apple is a maker of apple so if, like it's not it's not using all the keywords that we have given but um, but you know it's it's uh, slightly try to use so let's try to change the sentence and then see what's going to happen now keywords is apples and apples and apple okay so maybe this is this is not um, going very great so we can we can try something america apple america's iphone is also known as jobs um once again yeah so this is this is this is in a very early stage but i would suggest you uh you know like if you if you find something weird if you think some uh, sentences are not meaningful uh, you should definitely go go to the issues uh, and then you know raise an issue but as you can see this um sentence is actually meaningful i mean semantically uh whether you know you know it uh, like as a human being do you comprehend or not that's a different topic altogether but actually the sentence is meaningful and then you can actually build a lot of meaningful sentences like this so if i give the very famous example that um the the developer has already given so let me show you india uh wedding and i think food and then when i run this thing it's going to say india's wedding is a great place to eat so it has taken two keywords from um, from our input text which is india and wedding and then it has actually created a sentence saying india's wedding is a great place to eat <laughs> which is actually a very uh, you know true sen sen sentence and sentiment across india a lot of people actually go to indian wedding just to have good food you know that that makes me laugh 
okay so if i have to change the country let's say like from india i'm going to say uh, something like uh, spain and then run it the spaniards name of the place is waiting so you can see that instead of you know just replacing india with spain it's trying to change the entire sentence that uh, that would you know make me more meaningful more meaningful for this contest uh, context and uh, if i say games and then run it uh, you can see spain's waiting was held at the same time so it's it's uh it's not using games in this case but uh, you you can you know understand uh, like what's going on so let's quickly go ahead and then try one more model and then you know just we'll uh, we'll call it uh, we'll call it a day so we have uh, like i said there are three models so one is k2t k2t tiny and then k2t base so we just use k2t but uh, you can use any model so let's let's try to use um manuel romero's model so i don't know if you have uh, heard about uh, him uh, before ever but uh, he's one of the person uh, with a lot of model uploaded on uh, hugging face so manuel if uh, if you uh, if you are actually watching this video i'm not sure if you would i i really really appreciate and thank you for all the contributions that you have made to the hugging face model hub like people like you actually make um, hugging face model hub a much better place and a lot of um, you know content that uh, people like us you know end up using like uh, i'm not, i'm not i'm not somebody who you know does research and then I do a lot of that kind of work but i'm like more like an applied guy so pe people like manuel when when uh, or even to say that gagan when they put their stuff on hugging face um, model hub or data set so people like me actually we download and then we start using it and practically use it in a workplace and also as hobby project so thanks to manuel and you know even gagan for doing this kind of work so let's take this model change this and then run this Okay, so it's a uh, it's downloading model, so you can see that, that this is in progress. And uh, like I said, like if you find anything weird or wrong, um, you should def uh, definitely go to the issue section and then raise an issue. Like uh, it would make this a uh, much better product. And also as a kind request, like I do usually, um, if you find this project useful, please go ahead and start this repository. This would mean a lot to this developer. And if you think you you know you you can monetarily support this developer. Uh, there is a sponsor button uh, go ahead and then check um, you know how you can sponsor this um, um this developer who is gagan but here so i would uh, definitely encourage you to check this out and i would also link this uh, sponsors page and also the repository and also the google collab in the description so you are free to check it out and then you know help out the developer uh who is also you know going to donate uh this money uh for uh covid relief in india that's a that's a great thing that's a very great um gesture so getting back to work let's say keywords the same thing and let's just try to run it so now, now we have a different model and then you can see how the you know the result changes so initially it was saying like the spain's wedding was held at the same time using k2t model but right now you can actually see the wedding was held in a hotel in the city of a city in spain so you can see um you know slightly bigger model and then you can also see the way sentences are shaping up like if i have to add something um uh, let's say like uh, india wedding games if i have to run this let's see what happens the wedding was held in the city of india i think this is um becoming slightly so like if i have to say trump or i should probably say donald trump wedding and games let's see what happens Olympic athlete and the president on, of president of United States Donald Trump at the wedding. So it's kind of you know trying to get to the president of United States part. So if I have to use um, like something else, Narendra Modi, and then run it. Let's see what happens. Narendra Modi and his wife attended the wedding. So you can actually see where this is going to be useful. So let's assume like you have. Um, you have uh, you want to you know create something like fill in the blanks like you want to create an ai application or web application where uh, where you want to create fill in the blanks or you know, like create something that could be useful for high school uh, teachers and also you know a lot of times you want to uh, like wh why do you think models like uh, you know gpt2 or like gpt3 or even gpt neo are quite popular because um, they help you generate text uh, with a prompt but instead of a prompt here you are actually giving the keywords that we used in creating this text and um, i think there are a lot of things that could be improved in this uh, tool um, especially you know how you can integrate it with something else or um, you know specifying like the number of sentences you want the same uh, call or uh, you know the length of the sentence so these these are the, like nice enhancements 
uh, I, I'm sure like uh, Gagan must have uh, must have been you know working hard like you can see GitHub issues being raised or GitHub issues being solved uh, continuously you know there is a I think even um, th there was a recent commit uh, the last commit was like three hours back so uh, you can actually see that how actively this product is being developed and uh, if you want to use this product uh, google collab notebook is something that i would uh, give in the description which you can use it but even otherwise uh, you can just directly install it on a local machine it doesn't need gpu just install it on a local machine and then start uh, you know downloading the app and try it or if you want to try it uh, using streamlit there is again another option at this time of recording this video this app was not functioning i don't know the reason but um, uh, but yeah this is this is the app that the developer has given uh, or if you prefer an apa especially for bulk um, you know text generation you can if there is a docker image you can just pull the docker image run it locally and then you know you can just make apa calls and this is another flexible or a more developer friendly way where you can you can start using this package if you use this package anywhere key to text please uh, use the citation uh, and uh, you know like um, give proper credit to Gagan Bhatia and uh, once again uh, thanks to Gagan for making this um, making this open source package and it is you can see as it is an MIT license this I think this is going to be uh, very useful in a lot of applied NLP tasks and um, uh, I am I, just waiting for more models to come in and more models mean like we are going to have higher quality uh, you know better coverage more languages more use cases Maybe custom domain uh, fine tuning is something possible, like where you can, you know, create medical related sentences, or maybe you can create uh, like marketing related sentences. I think the potential is enormous. All we need to do is a little support to the developer, and then this is going to be an amazing package. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. You learned something new. Please give a thumbs up and then share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next video.